Hey there, okay, here's another one, and this is also a continuation pattern. This continuation pattern is a little bit easier to spot, and you're really just supposed to find these at the mid ranges, uh, mid range points of trends. Right, not at the bottom, not at the top, but somewhere in the middle. Okay, and this is how it looks like. Alright, okay, so we're in a downtrend. Okay, and then you start to see a series of red candles that will probably look a little bit like the the soldiers formation, but then we'll have like a huge bull bar that comes up, and then shortly later you'll start seeing some small ones come in. Alright, it's actually only a four bar formation and then the next bar should actually come in and then the, the rest of them after that should actually drop. Alright, so let's go ahead and show you basically what that looks like on the charts. We've got a similar pattern happening right here how we've had this drop that's come down and then this we start seeing it climbing back up and then it just drops um, shortly after that, All right, it, but it takes quite a while for it to drop. Um, let's see if we can see some more. Alright, we're looking for that big spurt back up. Let me just pause the video for a moment and I'll come back and see if we'll find some better example. Okay, here's one. Alright, I've had to change time frame here. Alright, we're in a downtrend. Okay, and what we're looking for is a big spurt back up. And you can see there's a candle right there. And it's that long green one. You can see like the downtrend's coming in and it just spurts all the way back up. And then eventually it starts to drag and come back down again. Alright, so that's one example. I'm not really seeing many more. I mean, here's kind of like one here where it spurts back up and kind of comes down a little bit. But the, the thing with this strategy is that you don't want to do it at the bottom of trends or at top of trends. They've got to be somewhere around about, oops, around about in the middle of the, of the trend. Okay, um, so you can you know, stand a good chance of actually hitting um, profit off of that. I, I personally um, would have put my like stop loss, maybe something like to the top here, and you know, go in on the next bar because the formation like that. I mean, once it breaks a fair amount of it, it should, should the next bar should actually come down around about 25% to 50%. Um, it does actually do that and let's see if we can find maybe some other examples um, okay, that was pretty close let me just pause for a moment so we can find some more well that's about all she wrote really, I can't find any more, so this is another pattern that doesn't really show up all the time. Um, again it is a continuation pattern, so it's not something that we should really be looking at for finding those buy and sell signals, but it's more or uh, less of a confirmation really for you to uh, you know, be more comfortable in staying in the trade rather than closing out of it. Alright, so I do apologise for the lack of examples on that one, I mean there was a couple of videos so far that didn't really have good um, candle examples, um, but as I say, hopefully in the in the up and coming videos, we'll see some of these examples come true to life, and then perhaps maybe we can even act off them as well. All right, so I will leave you there for the moment. All right, so I will see you very soon in the next video. Bye for now.